For any reason, a soldier missed the opportunity to attend our brief. We talked a couple of different things, HRC and assignment related. Uh, basically, we discussed CMF 11 career progression, what an infantryman needs to do to be successful, and how that's nested with the assignment process as far as us proxying a soldier for their next uh, duty assignment, whatever that may be. In addition to that, we, uh, we briefed on some soldier programs that exist within HRC that would affect, um, you know, uh, future assignments, uh, exceptions to policy, stuff like that, and uh, just gave them some information to arm them, you know, as we go further down the road, what the next step actually will be. Absolutely. So online is your friend. We, uh, we have a social media site that they can visit, our Facebook page. Enlisted Infantry Branch is all they need to type into their search. It'll pop up there. Great hot assignment information, uh, career progression, board results, whatever the case may be. Generally, they can find information there. In addition to that, they can go to the HRC website. We have our own portion on it where it's got points of contact, relevant information that's, that's good for the CMF to know when it comes to assignments. Your career is in your own hands. Um, you know, we are there to facilitate what you need to do be, to be successful. And a lot of that is the assignments that you select, the assignments that you're placed on. Know what fights to fight, know which ones to accept. And uh, really, you're your own maker, you know, when it comes to career progression, continued enhancement, promotions. A lot of that is dictated upon where you've served and the assignments that you've selected over your career. Absolutely, so the infantryman is the most sought after soldier in the United States Army when it comes to broadening assignments, special nominative assignments, stuff like that. What soldiers need to understand, especially for our skill level 10s to our skill level uh, 20s, many of your assignments, say coming out of Fort Drum, is probably going to be handled via re-enlistment. Your career branch really doesn't have a, much of a say-so in it, just more predicated upon strengths. However, you have many more options when you're talking to retention about what comes next. Be selective in what you choose. Visit the Infantry Proponency website, benning.army.mil. It's got the career model, the professional development model laid out. Um, once you've completed your critical leadership time at the grade of Staff Sergeant, Sergeant First Class, 11 Zulu Master Sergeant, you can absolutely anticipate to leave Fort Drum and move into the broadening or the generating force for a broadening type assignment. Things like the Cadet Command, Drill Sergeant, Recruiter, those are all great options that will you know, help you out as you continue forward in your career.